Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Previously in the Platinum series, we platinumed and the week remastered. If you haven't seen that, there will be a card at the top. And it's only right that in this video, we're going to the second game and we're going to continue Alan Wake's story. Alan Wake 2 takes place 13 years after the events of Alan Wake 1. You take on the role of an FBI agent, Sega Anderson, who comes to a small town of Bright Falls to investigate a series of ritualistic murders committed by the Cult of the Tree alongside her partner Alex Casey. The time has finally come where we get to unravel the story of Alan Wake 2. Let's go ahead and let's play this game. Damn, I'm excited. We start off the game as playing as this guy coming from Cauldron Lake. He's running from the darkness, but we later find out that this is actually Agent Nightingale from the original game. Agent Nightingale is brutally murdered by the members of Cult of the Tree. There's our first trophy. So Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That little introduction has just got me so much more hyped. Yo, this. Okay, I've seen loads of reviews and I've I've seen that people are calling this a masterpiece and I, yeah, I'm just excited. Honestly, the graphics are insane. It's like I'm watching a movie. It's crazy. That guy's suspicious. All I'm saying is he looks dodgy. He is a part of the darkness. I'm telling you. I'm calling it. There we go. Return one, chapter one, invitation. Right, let's get into this. Let's have a look at the map. Another trophy. Pick up a map. Oh, okay, that was easy enough. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. As we're granted access by the deputy, we'll go ahead and make our way down to the crime scene. This is something which we didn't have in the first game. And to be honest, I actually like it. It's a nice addition to the game. This is quite important to our characters. Everything we find, we piece together, and we come up with an overall conclusion to the case. Be right back. Got it. Before we go down to the crime scene, let's go off the beaten track is and get some collectibles. Kids lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. As we arrive at the crime scene, we piece together the, the mystery of this the murder. Right next to the body. That is strange. That's very weird. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. As I shuffle through the dark, rugged woods, we come across this abandoned house. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Wonder what's inside. On the box outside, it gave us a list of things we need to look at. There's a bunch of symbols in the bedroom, bathroom sink, and on the fridge. Put these together and it'll come up with a code. If you've done this small puzzle successfully and you've put the code together, you can go ahead and open it up and retrieve the items. By doing so, you'll also get a trophy. There we go. Thank God for that. That took so long. We got the trophy secret stashes. We discovered a cult stash and a, a lunchbox. So that took so long. I, I don't know why. I just As we move towards the checkpoint, we find something called a manuscript. Almost seems like this is a little nod to Alan Wake. Everything Sega is saying. Typewriter. It's old school. It's got lines scratched out with a pen. That's everything Alan Wake would do. Someone's been watching us. Got another trophy, not the last. We picked up right. our first manuscript. So they could Nine be Gale potentially collectibles again. I'm not too sure. It could Either be story based. As we finish up looking at the crime scene, Here we, we ordered the body to go down to the morgue. So that means we're making our way down to the town which was shown in the original game. Bright Falls. Damn. It's changed so much. As we've just arrived at Bright Falls, it's time to do some exploring. In certain discovered locations around the map, we have to go up and stroke this deer. I believe this will later give us a trophy. When I was looking at the sheriff, I thought he does look very familiar. 
And then I realized it's the character out of Quantum Break. And I do believe that the Remedy titles are actually crossed over, such as Control, Alan Wake, and Quantum Break. When talking to Tim Breaker, the sheriff, he says that there were some witnesses on the murder. So what we have to do is we're going to have to question them and find out some more information towards the case. Is Rue still working here? No, probably not. It's 13 years, I think. Oh, well, there's the jukebox. <laughs> it's out of order. Well, I'm not surprised. The last time we used it, we had to hit it. When talking to the bookers, we put some questions together, asking them why and what they were doing there. When they were there, they said to us that they seen the cult and a crazy naked man coming out of the woods. They were telling the truth. This was shown in the introduction of the game. Is that Rose? It is, that's Rose. Carbat! How's she still there? That's Rose. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. No. Wow, Rose has changed a little bit. Well, quite a lot, actually. Is it funny, alright? Leave me alone. Damn. Arriving at the police station and decided to watch some TV. Found out these are actually collectibles, and we need to find a few of them around the map. Making our way down into the mug so we can go ahead and do an examination on Agent Nightingale. Aren't you supposed to like wear gloves and everything? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale Haunted Saga. Hell no. Lost fight. Oh, there's my gun. I need to get that. By staying in the light, it protects us from the darkness. Only the Taken can actually see in the dark, but when you're in the light, they can't see you whatsoever. So creating a perfect chance, I can go ahead and run out of the hall, grab my gun, and defend myself. Gotta move. Now. And that is the end of chapter one. Wow, what a little bit of a cliffhanger. Wow. All, of, that's all I've got to say is wow. That was a great first chapter one. We got the trophy. Somebody's home. Complete chapter invitation. We left the police station and got into our car. And we made our way back down to Cauldron Lake. There we go. We finished episode one. And now we're on chapter two. Return to whatever you want to call it. So far, just from the first chapter... I'm enjoying this game. It's really good. I'm not going to lie. We've just come back to Cauldron Lake, so therefore we have to do some investigation. We see the darkness protecting something, like they used to protect the Taken back in Alan Wake 1. Alan Wake reading the manuscript page says that Sega goes to a witch hut, but has to find a fuse to create the light. We got a new trophy called Coffee Thermos. Just the same as the last game. Oh, so it's a quick save. These areas of light are a safe haven, so you can go ahead and save your game manually, or do a quick save. Oh shit, that's our first boss fight now. Darkness coiled. Uh, we just got the trophy destroying the shield. We got another one. Chase the source. Okay, so I believe there's a trophy for healing yourself. Oh, okay, we just got another trophy. Upgrade the inventory size. Did I upgrade it? I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use one of the trauma pads. So it's an adhesive bandage, which we can go ahead and get a trophy for. So let's go ahead and equip this. And let's heal ourselves up. And there we go. We got the trophy. Felt good. After finding out what the code was, we decide to open up the padlock. And it gives us another trophy. Bring it. I find the sawn off shotgun. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Hey, we found the heart. Let's go. The text on the heart is clearer now. Fridge. The Picking things up without gloves is crazy. 
After finding out some information, we have to go take Nightingale's heart to this board. Putting it in the hole will grant us entry. It is time to fight Nightingale with our first boss fight. There we go, we finished him, nice. We got the trophy Lawman. I guess that's, yeah, defeat Nightingale. Was that Alan? This bit is important to the story because you get to see it later in a different POV. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Who was that? Are you okay? No, no, it's my fault. Wait, what? With my face, scratch. Sir. Calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. Scratch is the evil presence of Alan. The Scratch is also Alan Wake's doppelganger. He traded places with Alan so Alan could be stuck in the dark place and Scratch is in the real world. Alan! My name is Alan Wake. Come on! I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? He came from the dark place. You've been missing for 13 years. Oh, he was on the cabin. That was a good chapter. I really enjoyed that. That was great. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. On our way back to the lake to find evidence, we get a bit of an interruption. I decided to use this to my advantage and use the fly to keep the enemies at bay so we can receive the trophy. Let's there we go. go. We got another trophy called Shining in the Night. All we had to do was keep the enemies at bay with a flare in our hand. That was easy enough, basically the same as the first game. The flare is so vibrant. Okay then. Finding this cabin and making our way upstairs, we go up to this little playpen. Oh, shit. Another charm for my bracelet. Finding this last remaining charm will give us an opportunity to get this trophy. All we have to do is put the charms into the slots and confirm it. Filling the shape. Place a charm in all bracelet slots. Honestly, the trophies on this game are really easy. Trying to find a way out of the forest and get the collectibles along the way. We see a taken. We aim for the head, hoping to get this trophy. And there we go, we got aimed ahead. Defeat five enemies with a headshot. Like once again, we finished up and we're back to the car park. You ready to go? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. At this point, this is where we get to play as Alan Wake in some flashback sequences. In this one, we're on a talk show. friend you look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years i don't know what it's not a lake it's an ocean that was at the very end of the first game Hello? when it's time to play we're in the studio we have to try find a way out old gods of asgard that name sounded familiar the old gods of asgard with the old guys in the diner odin and Thor. they were also seen in the cabin where alan was Oh, 
After trying to escape the studio, the dark presence is after us. This is where Alan starts to get worried. Just like Sega, he also has a mind place but to change the plot of the story. Oh, we're in the cabin. From the nightmare. Once again, we're back in the studio, but this time the story has changed. We see this incredibly strange janitor just standing in the room, but he decides to give us the basement key. After exploring into the depths of this basement, we go ahead and find the lamp. This lamp is quite significant to Alan, and it changes the plot of the story. So we use a lamp now instead of a flashlight? Whoa, when the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. What? Like something in a dream. Only slightly figuring out how to use this lamp, but not certain, we make our way into this dark room. The dark place wants to draw me. To form a door leading out? But how do you open a door that's not a door? We're finally in New York. We meet Casey in the dark place. Casey's being shot, but this gives us a chance to take back our flashlight and the revolver. We finally got a flashlight and we received the trophy. Find the light. There was something hidden here. Please repeat it over and over. Using the lamp which we earlier received in the story by the janitor giving us the key for the basement. Using the lamp and transmitting the charge, we changed the plot of the story, which created a subway for us. Okay, so I believe we can go ahead and get this trophy. It's quite the same as the last one. There we go. Oh. Open the door, man. Running away and seeking shelter from the dark presence in the light, just like before. But now, it's time for round two, and let's see if we can escape. Come on, keep running, man. The dark presence. I'd seen it before. There you go, we got another trophy. Stormcloud, escape the dark presence. There. Mr. Wake. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. In the game, there is one chest you really do need to open, and it goes towards your trophies. It's a cult stash. You get different resources from it. Also, you get this crossbow, which is pretty sick. Shortly after receiving the crossbow, we decided to do this little puzzle by placing the dolls. Right. And we do get a trophy called Strange Reality. Completing the puzzle and getting ambushed by a bunch of wolves, we get the trophy in one go. This lost taken was by himself, so I decided to go up to him, dodge him a few times, hoping that he would grab onto me. I'm sure he does. Using my flare, burn away his face, and I get the trophy, escape its gravity. Using the elevator to go to our apartment to see if Alice is there. Shortly after that little sequence, I take out a little gas canister, shoot at it, blow him up, and I get the trophy, gone for good. This trophy is kind of strange, but fun in its own way. We decide to run through the theme park, shoot at this little bear, and we get the trophy, coffee theme fun.
thankfully killing him, although my aim is absolutely terrible. After killing the Taken, we look to the right and we find a screwdriver. So we go ahead and pick that up and we get the trophy, finding a way. Using the little collectibles that you get out of the Katie lunchboxes, you go ahead and upgrade the weapon and you get the trophy growing stronger. Oh, shit. It's the old gods of Asgard. It's Odin and Thor. You know that these guys were still alive. We've said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon. Wait, hold on, what did I do? Oh, I had the bracelet charm on. Oh, I was gonna die then. Oh, wait, hold on, we got a double boss fight. Shotgun's coming out for this one. Some serious business. Damn! Why, wow, his head just got blown off. And there we go, we killed him. We killed both of them, sorry. We got the trophy back in watery. Complete the chapter local girl. So that's it. We chapter four, I believe. There we go. We've just finished that. I need to protect myself. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that a flashlight? A flashlight. Ooh, we got a shotgun. Nice, we also got a trophy. Find the double barrel shotgun. Hey, let's go. Okay. That was... A really good chapter actually and we also got the trophy we watch in the night just like before instead of upgrading one we upgraded all of them and we get the trophy all smiles give me my hunting rifle we got the trophy ready for a fight well, that is creepy Ew, that was weird jeez that scared the shit out of me what? Did not expect that one bit. Are they the ball cutters? Wait, there's a trophy here, right? There is a trophy. Cut short. We found the ball cutters. Ah! Ah! What is that, bro? What, what even was that? Oh, there she is. Oh, well, that actually really hurt. Is she dead? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up! Bro, this is some Resident Evil type. Don't just die. Oh, 
Oh hell no! You know that, yeah? Damn! <laughs> she got flung. Just got the trophy, girl in love. Defeat Cynthia. <laughs> That is the end of the chapter, and that was actually a, a really good boss fight. Plus, we got the trophy called the Old Gods. Alright, let's move on to the next one. So there's a simple trophy where we just go up to this dog and give it a pet. Hello, Mayor Setter. And we receive the trophy. Just like before, I believe we're gonna get a trophy. I'm sure Let's sure grab the shotgun and there we go. We got the trophy. Stop right there. If I've done everything correctly, this should be the last cult stash, and we should get the trophy. Please, there we go. Hidden by the trees. Found all the cult stashes. There is no way Scratch is being defeated that easily. Scratch was here. He'll be back. Yeah, okay. Woohoo, Leo, that was nice. <laughs> Seeing double complete chapter scratch. We'll try to get you, Anderson. This is a point of no return, so we're coming up to a plan to go ahead and defeat Scratch. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes! Oh, yeah, hey, there you are! I'm here! If you know, I'm, I'm here. here! Let's get ready! Dodge last minute to avoid an enemy attack. I'm kind of glad I got that because I was thinking I haven't actually got this throughout the whole game yet. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice them. Oh, it's actual well banned. Oh, that is sick. I was back, and I hadn't forgotten. I knew how this worked now. Oh, this is the actual music video of the song. That's the end of that part. Plus, we got a trophy too. All his life. Complete chapter we sing. I think this one's the last shotgun. Or at least the last weapon. There we go. All accounted for. Find all the weapons for both characters. There we go. Collected every single weapon in the game.
don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. There's another trophy behind the mask. We're almost finished. We're not. We're not far off. Oh, I did it. I thought I didn't do it then. Well, the trail of the writer. We watched all of the writer's journeys videos. Another trophy. The cult of the word. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me. Me. Eh? Huh? She took her own life? Oh, that's actually quite sad. Did she jump? No. Oh, shit. Here we go. The story comes true. We've fit. I said we finished Alan Wake too. But I messed up and we should have got the platinum, but we didn't. I need to go back over the story and go get one of the collectibles and then we should get the platinum. Oh, what a fantastic game. That story was incredibly weird, but that, that turnover at the end, that was crazy. It's not a loop. <laughs> it's a spiral. Is that a third game confirmed? So I believe this is the last charm now. I missed this on my first playthrough. It didn't take me long to try find it, but I think we have done it. This will be the platinum once I collect this charm. So here we go. Three, two, one. Collect there it is. We got the rustic charm. We found all of the charms. Here we go. Here is the Alan Wake 2. We finally done it. We have finally done it. We have platinumed Alan Wake Remastered. And now we've just completed the sequel. And also got that platinum for Alan Wake 2. This game took me around 20 hours or so. Nothing too crazy. You can get it done in your first playthrough. Just make sure you collect all of the charms. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like, comment, subscribe. I shall see you guys in the next video. I'm murdering bees like I'm possessed by an evil spirit. I'm herding these sheep like a shepherd when I'm spitting my lyrics. Getting bored of all these fake guns. Everyone becoming gimmicks. I'll raise you up by your feet and defy every single physic. I'm evil inside. I got demons to cry. So when I'm alone with myself, I just want to take my own.